Well, welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD, back again with some more in Stars and Time. We beat the king for the second time. Now, we got some stuff to do. I don't think we can call loop. And I just realized that I didn't call loop before uh, at any point ascending the tower. No answer. It's okay. I don't think loop had anything new for us. But now we can probably tell Bonnie to, hey, Keep it quiet. Don't interrupt what I'm talking to Isabel, please. Whoa! You put yourself in front of Odal so she doesn't have to see how impossibly high you are. Clouds! So high! Madame, you okay? I I'm fine. Seafren protected me from the worst of it. You stand on your tiptoes. Look at the ground and take my hand, madame. I won't let you fall. Th thank you. Come on, everyone! Come on! The head house maiden is just ahead. Come on! Bow, wait up! One step at a time, madame. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go. Sifra and I will kill you with my bare hands if you bring us any closer. Oh, how high are, high are we? I wanna... Please stop the kid from coming closer to the edge. I'm gonna faint. I'm seriously going to faint if I see the kid gets any closer to the crabbing edge. She said crab. Come here, guys, all right? You both take a few steps back to reassure Odal. Thank you. Fear of heights is no joke, huh, madame? Tell me about it. You're too cool. You needed one weakness. Hmm. Wait. Will you kill me if I... Ah, maybe I could have gotten a reset. It's a pillar of all things and all things. What's, why is this messy here? It's a change thing. It's a pillar with a change thing. A pillar with another change thing. We've seen all this stuff, right? Should we keep checking? I guess we can't check these. Oh, and now we can ask the head housemaiden some stuff as well. Head housemaiden! Mirabelle. Once more. That's the head housemaiden? She's so tall. She might have three heads on you, Isabeau. She's so pretty! Oh, head housemaiden, you're okay! I... The house and when... The king... Mirabelle, oh dear one. I'm so proud of you. Look at you! The savior of Vogard. You saved the house and the whole country of Vogard. We all owe you a great debt. All of you. You smile. Ah. Oh, uh. Of course. Don't worry, just another day saving a whole country. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, I did not think the king would be so strong. When he attacked the house, everyone was counting on me. But there was nothing I could do. I'm just going through this because I don't know if there's going to be anything new. This is the second time I've come here. So I don't know that there's any new dialogue. Hearing young Mil Mirabelle, who was so shy and reserved, was the one to save all of us. All of Vogard. You look much more confident in yourself now. I'm so glad I managed to give you some power before the King's curse took over me. Ah, uh, head housemaiden, just so you know, everyone thinks the Chain God blessed me. Oh? But w why would everyone think that? We'll start saying it and I... I didn't say otherwise. Oh, well, that's a rather silly thing for them to think. I thought we all knew that the Change God is a pretty lazy deity. Wow. Isn't that a sacrilegious thing to say? Haha, <laughs> but it's true. Oh, my dear Mirabelle. Did you think people would lose hope if they thought the Change God wasn't the one who blessed you? We found out that they would. We encountered one person when we said, was it the shopkeeper? They were losing their shit. I... I'm so sorry. I do not blame you, Mirabelle. You acted in a way you thought was right. I knew I was right to bless you. B but... Why me? <laughs> well, I only had the strength to bless one person, and I was already toast. And you were almost out of the house when the king attacked. So really, you were the only logical choice. That's it? And housemaiden Mirabelle, you have always been the most hardworking housemaiden in the house. 
Always striving to learn new things. To better yourself. Always meeting challenges head on, even if you think you didn't think you'd succeed. You were the only logical choice, yes. But you were also the only right choice. Head house maiden. No, you crazy. Thank you. Huh? Head house maiden boops Mirabelle's nose. You are still so stinking cute, Mirabelle. And you, Mirabelle's companions. Thank you for helping her get this far. You have my gratitude and the entire country of Vogard. Heh <laughs> No problem at all, madame, head housemaiden. It was an honor. Truly, it was nothing. You smile. Again. Ho ho ho. Soon, you'll be able to go back to your normal lives and away from battle and strife. Finally, you'll all be able to go home. If there's anything the head, the house of Dormant can do to thank you, Please do not hesitate. But for now, bask in the feeling of a job well done. Here again. Last time you got here, you looped right back to the start after talking to the head housemaid, didn't you? Is the loop breaking when you talk to her? Does she know why? If you talk to her, will time loop back again? Hmm. Can I save before doing this? Damn! Ah, whoop whoop, we did it, we won, etc. Ugh, whatever. This was quite a workout. My entire body is screaming. Savior of Vogard, huh? There's, that's something to add to my list of accomplishments. But now I can finally go back to traveling. I'm... I'd be curious to visit some more Vogardian cities and hear what they have to say after an event like this. It'll be weird to travel alone now, but I'll get used to it again. Or I could just go to Kabue. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> to do your fake research? Heh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I'd like to see Izabo try to figure it out for a little longer. I'm very excited to hear what he comes up with next. Spoonology. Bananaology. Yeah, you got this. Bananaology would be quite appealing. Ha! <laughs> we finally made Oda laugh? Hell yeah. Ha! <laughs> I'll miss you, Seferin. You're a little strange, but you're a good kid. Maybe try letting down your walls every once in a while, huh? And come to Kabue any anytime. Maybe we'll meet again during your travels. She's smiling at you gently. You s force yourself to smile back. Seafren, is everything- Ah! I have even more pineapple slices in my pocket! Grab ya! Never mind. Take care of yourself, Seafren, all right? You nod. Okay, so we got interrupted again? So maybe we gotta talk to you first. Maybe there's an order to talk to them in. Talk to you first, then Isabeau, then you, and then Mirabelle? I don't know. Let me talk to you again. Back to looking around curiously like always. She sees you stare and flashes you a smile. You smile back. Alright, talk to you next. What's wrong? It's... It's really over, is right? Like, for real, real? It's over? King is gone? For real, real, Bon. So, so then... So I can go back to Bambush and see my sister again? She'll be okay? She'll move around? I'm sure of it. How about this? Huh? If she's not moving when you go see her, you can punch me three times. Deal! Wait! That's such a long journey, though! I'm not going to go find you just so I can punch you if you're wrong. That's dumb. Just as dumb as your sister not being okay when you, we just won. Oh. Oh. You're right. Okay. Then I'll believe you. Hopefully I won't have to walk forever to punch you. You laugh. Bonnie somehow looks worried. But, friend, you know, we found that book about craft spell smells, right? Uh-oh. Ah, yes. You did that this loop, didn't you? You nod. 
Well, friend, it still smells like sugar. He freeze. Thou said that if it smelled sweet, it might be because of Timecraft. Do you think the king is really gone if it still smells like Timecraft? He's the only one that can use it, right? Quick, say something. I, I, it makes sense the smell would linger a bit, right? Linger? Well, when you fart, <laughs> it smells bad for a while, yeah? Oh, oh, yeah! Heh, <laughs> farts. You both laugh. Bonnie mentioned they started smelling sugar yesterday, didn't they? It's you, isn't it? Before you forget, though, do you wanna. Do you have any snacks left? Oh, um, well. Bonnie looks through their pockets. Wait, I have some pineapple slices left! I won't give them to you, I'm super hungry. That way I'll survive until I eat dinner! See, aren't I smart? Very smart, but you're smarter. You should make sure to talk to everyone you need to before talking to Isabeau. Oh! Bonnie stares at you without saying anything. You give them a wave. Bonnie shyly waves back. Hmm. Bonnie's not as dumb. I think Bonnie knows it's just that smelling like sugar. They said yesterday it started like smelling like sugar. They could probably tell that if I'm around, or Seafrin, really, uh, that it smells like sugar when we're there with them. Uh, talk to Isabel last, I guess? Seafrin! I. I'm not dreaming, am I? We won, didn't we? Are you sure? We really won? We really won, Mira. Oh, oh, thank change. I don't think I can believe it just yet, to be honest. We fought the king and and the last attack I dealt did the trick and defeated him, but it's been it's been such a long journey, you know? I I can't believe it's over. I She's shaking. Breathe with me. Okay. Both Breathe slowly, in and out. <sighs> you make a confused face. Oh no, I'm just thinking... You can be so nice, Seafren. Are you? <laughs> you don't look like you believe it, but it's true. You know, um... Um... I know we haven't known each other for that long, but I hope you know I really treasure your company. I do! I really, really do. And so, thank you. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey. You smile. I'm sure you're excited to go back to traveling on your own. But don't forget me, okay? Come see me at Derma anytime. I'd love to hang out. Promise! Sorry, Mirabelle. You all might have to hang out for a little bit longer. Isabel smiles at you gently. Change. All right, Isabel. It's time. Wait, can we look out here? That's the sun outside. Can we sit on this? Can we sit with you? Hey. All right. Time for the real deal. Will you finally say it? Sif, we did it. We did it, Sif, we did it! We stopped the king! We can finally go back to our normal lives. Isn't it great? It is. Yeah! I... Uh... I... I said... Do you remember what I said? At the clock tower? You remember. You wanted to tell me something. Yes. Um... Yeah. Okay. Whew. Sif. Sifroni. Seafren. I... 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 I love... Everyone! No! Why? I'm so glad we managed to win. Can you believe it? I think this calls for a group hug. Group hug! Pass. Of course you'll pass. You and Frin never join group hugs. Zah! Group hug! Group hug! Group hug! Sure, I guess it's time for a group hug. 
Yay! You watch Mirabelle, Isabel, and Bonnie hug. What did you have to? Doesn't matter. At all. It wasn't that important. Come on, go talk to everyone. I have some thinking to do. But Sif, I'm glad this is over. Can't wait to go back to my old job, you know? Make sure to say hi when you're near Juvon, okay? You nod. Ah! Why? 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 Do you know why? All right, this is it. Hey, what happened then? Traveling one, are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful, wonderful. I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Mirabelle this far. Can we cut to the chase? I need some questions answered. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I know you will go back to your travel soon, but I hope do hope you'll keep in touch. If only for young Mirabelle. It's the same so far. You should ask her something quickly in case the loops restart on its own again. Something like... You said something was broken. What was it? Broken? What do you... <gasps> oh! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Can you please just tell me? <laughs> Why is everybody giving me the runaround? Is she? Oh. Zephyrin. I'm so sorry. There's no way we can stop it now. I'm sorry. You'll be going back. Back when everything started. You inhale sharply, almost choking on the smell of burnt sugar around you. Stars. No, no, no. She is... I'm not imagining it. She's repeating the exact same thing at the, as the first time. Don't just repeat it, say something! I know you thought your quest was over, but it can't be! Something's broken, something's failing, rotting! I can't fix it on my own. Not before it all ends! If only I had noticed sooner, I should have seen it, prevented it! Oh no, no. She could have answered your questions. Why? Even though you asked for something different at the start of this conversation. Why is she repeating the exact same thing? Just talk to me! You feel a tug on your stomach. No! It's my fault that you have to suffer like this. I just hope that one day, you might learn to forgive- I'm gonna explode. Loop 25! The head housemaiden said the exact same thing. Time looped again. You're back here. She... She really repeated the exact same thing, huh? Usually when you react differently, everyone reacts differently as well, but she... It was like you weren't here. Why? What now? You've now talked to the king and the head housemaiden. And those really... Are those really the only two people that would know anything about the loops you're stuck in? Who else could you talk to about the loops? To theorize. Madame O'Dial. Oh, wait. There is one person. You need to go and talk to them anyway, so... Uh, just let me stay here. You wish you could sleep here a while. You're on a schedule. Get up, hero. Let's see what Seaford looks like. Oh, wait, I can't... There we go. Still kind of the withdrawn look. Looks about the same. We give that a save right here. I. <sighs> that was frustrating. I feel for Seafrin on that one. Why are just answer the question? I'm asking you three times. Just say something, and you keep going on with your own thing. Answer the question, please! Pew pew. I'm not repeating the pew pew. Seafrin, you're up! Here again. 
Hey, Mira. Hey, see friend. <laughs> so how was your nap? A scale of 1 to 10. Oh, you know. That bad? I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you'll sleep well tonight. I know how much you value your naps. Wait! I had something that I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This, uh, blah, blah, we, this is the same stuff. I just gotta say the line, different. Sounds great. No, no. Sure. Okay. You really, really will. I always remember. I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location, just in case you forget. Reminder note. That's... I didn't show the reminder note to Luke before, because I never get it anymore. Uh, you put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Okay, see you at the clock tear later. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the Change God statue too. Tell Mirabelle about the carrot method for good luck. You tell Mirabelle about the carrot method so she can learn that one skill. Wait, how did you know about? And wink. Okay. Mirabelle learned the, the again. You watch her go. Damn, man. Hey. Huh, uh huh. Old little. Can't remember her sister's name. Isn't that because her sister went to stop thinking about it? And well, at least we know the foods for Bonnie. That's something different we can do as well. But we gotta do something we always do. Hello! <laughs> fishing. Look like someone who would like fishing. You like to fish for a bit. Yes. I need this. <sighs> you know, nothing will bite, and yet you fish. But we got a bite last time. You should remember that, Sifrin. Unless your memory is going again. Once again, you didn't catch anything, but it's fine. Heh heh. Heh heh Alright, we got... We gotta talk to Odal. Not you. Oh, we gotta talk to the chain statue as well. Stitch then. Close your eyes, breathe in, and out. Crashing down, you whisper, for speed. That's what you want. You actually feel a little faster. Yeah. Close your single eye. Save it right here. Nice. Okay. So we got some things that we need to do. I don't know what the... Because if we want to get that skill, we have the memory for it, but if we want to get the skills for Mirabelle and Odile, we have to go through those secret quests again. I don't know if you have to go through the whole rigmarole, or if it will let me skip and just like autopilot my brain off. Me? Well, I saved. I can check, but I feel like I'm supposed to talk to Odal to theorize, but it could also be Loop. And I was gonna go to Loop first anyway. Hey! Go right here. Hi, is a Yes. Gotta keep the, the funny up. His hand stops above your shoulder. Is it fun to go back here? To keep torturing yourself? Huh, that was fun. Blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. Nope. Okay, I'll be going now. Bye-bye. Hello? -bye. Oh, I need help. Hi, Stardust. So. So? Got any theories about the loops I'm trapped in? Why would I? Your name is literally Loop. Oh, stars above it is. Tee <sighs> But just because I call myself Loop doesn't mean I know anything. I'm just bad at names. But I'll see what I can do. What's your question? Do you know anything that could help? Such a broad question, Stardust. As I've told you before, I know as much as you do right now. How can that be? What do you mean? 
Aren't you here to help me? Why don't you know more about the loops you're supposed to help me with? <laughs> don't you teehee me. Aww. I still don't have a good answer for you, Stardust. Isn't it already nice that you have me to talk to about those loops? You could be alone, stuck with only your tiny brain for company, with no one to talk to. Okay, okay, okay. Well... Why don't we summarize what we know about those loops? We might find something out. You sigh and nod. Nothing better to do, you suppose. So... You're currently stuck in a time loop for some unknown reason. The loop starts when you wake up in Dormal, and seems to end when you talk to the head housemaiden. Unless I die first, or touch a tear. Yes. Maybe the loop considers getting frozen in time by those tears a sort of death? But why aren't you looping back when you get frozen in battle? Huh? Isn't it because... I thought the tears work differently than an actual time freeze skill. Is that so? Well, you're the one getting frozen, so you'd know. So you loop if something keeps you from advancing in some way. I wonder if other things would count as keeping you from advancing. Like? Like, what if we cut off your legs? Would you immediately loop back? You can't, adva and you can't advance if you have no legs, right? Uh, I'd rather not test that one. Ah, but understandable. But it is interesting, though. What makes the loop actually loop? You feel like you can remember a few times when time looped back on its own, even if it was just a few minutes. Maybe, yeah, that's true, because sometimes, like when we went berserk on that sadness, it's that tugging feeling that always makes us loop back, right? And then when Bonnie was like super angry and sad and lost it, it happened then too. It's not like anything killed us, right? Maybe does Luke consider talking to the head housemaiden something that keeps you from advancing somehow? Oh, maybe, but what would advancing even mean then? Towards what goal? Is there something that happens when you talk to the head housemaid that makes a certain goal impossible to accomplish? As you found out, all of this might be the work of Timecraft, a power that should be impossible to use, but you and the king are somehow able to manipulate it. But, am I manipulating Timecraft if I can't control it? But you can, can't you? You can more or less control where you come back. Except when you talk to the head housemaid, it seems which brings you back to the start. But just being able to loop back in time and avoid death might count as you being able to use timecraft. But if timecraft is supposed to be too dangerous to even use, how did I get that power? And how can you break the loop for good? Yes, those are the big questions, aren't they? I do wonder about the limitations of your powers still. What makes you actually loop? Somehow I feel like finding out more about that would be useful. Stardust, you've been talking for a while, so maybe not right now, but... When you have some time, will you hang out with me for a bit? Huh? Hang out? I have... a theory I'd like to test. And... And we haven't spent any time together, Stardust! I'm lonely! I want to have a long conversation with someone. Anyone! I want to hang out! Ugh. Again, it doesn't have to be right now. Our little hangout might... Our little hangout time might last a while. Maybe even longer than the rest of the day. I'm sure you have plans for this loop, so I can wait until you have time. Okay? Theory Loop would like to test about the loops. Might be useful. You should talk to Loop and hang out with them when you have time, then. Yay! I'll be waiting! In the meantime, 
How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? I have... Oh, I'm going to hang out with Loop on this one. Well, I got well, some of those stuff to do. I got... I, I, what, what should I do next? Let's talk about some. Wait, actually... My turn to ask a question. You know, don't you? What your fighter is trying to... So hard to say to you. You flinch. I do... I know. Heh. I wonder who we should pity more than. The one who won't be able to spit it out, almost like forbidden by time itself. Or the one waiting endlessly for it. Such a terrible tragedy, isn't it? Well, what's the... Uh, I have a question about... Questions. A Mirabel statue? Huh. Oh, the Change God statue where you get the key knife. I didn't know your housemaiden made it. Explains why it looks so bad. It's true, sadly. I don't know much about the change belief, but maybe if you look at a bunch of statues in the house, you might learn something about them. Hmm. Questions. Questions. Whoa! Odal suspicious. Is that so? That researcher of yours is pretty perceptive. Better not act weird or interact with stuff that makes you act weird too often in one loop. Or do! What does it matter? She won't be able to figure anything out anyway. Figuring out you're looping in time just because you're acting weird would be quite an achievement. Processes. Well, we're getting closer to that fact. The sugar thing was like a big one. Do you know how to fix a knife? You know how to sharpen a, the key knife now. Find the sharpening stone on floor one, find the key knife on floor three, apply stone to key knife. It'll probably make battling the king easier now. I had no more questions for me. I might have some other questions. <laughs> I had a question about... Wait, which one did I do? I did this one, right? What should I do next? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? Help everyone. We don't know. Never mind. Wait, no! Help everyone. That's the one that has, like, the different... Ally options. Oh, man. Nothing, actually. Never mind. Nothing. See you later, Stardust. Alright, we gotta show you the paper. This paper. Just flip that coin. You grip the coin tightly between your fingers. Nothing. What about this? I know this, but we're showing it to loop. Damn. Can I just like walk here and then do it? Technically, I'm facing you now. Is this what I'm supposed to do? You think about silver coins. You think about croissant. Croissant. You think about your. About accents? You think about... What? Oh! We were trying to think about the... The island! But the universe won't let you. You rub your chest to bring back some warmth. And think about everyone. Oh! There's a lot of interactions with this coin, huh? Alright, we don't. We d okay, I get I get it, 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 I get it. Thank you, Mirabelle. Alright, we will hang out with Loop on this loop. This wonderful new loop. Uh, I do want to save this. I want to get the flower. Thank the change god. Alright, I got some stuff. Got four point leaf thingy thing, friendship drawing, and bright flower, and friendship people. I've also saved on a different file, just in case we get to walk around town with Loop, and then maybe we get to interact with other peoples? Hey, Sardis, how can I help you? Let's do a hang! Oh! Our theory hangout. Yes! But we can't actually hang out right now. It'd be pretty useless. So how about you come back here early tomorrow, after you're done acting things out at the clock tower? Wait, you want me to sneak out? And spend a loop with me, yes! But, you 
police go to the house after the clock tower? If you're not here, what will everyone do? What will everyone think? Does it matter what they think? They'll forget it all in your next loop, after all. It matters. It matters! So you won't do it? You won't come and hang out with little old me? I'll come. Neat! I'll see you soon, then. Interesting. You spend the rest of the night with everyone. Early in the morning while everyone is asleep. You quietly slip away and head to the favor tree. Loop! Psst, loop! You can't see Loop anywhere. What? Up here, Stardust, up here! Up there? Did Loop go back to their home or something? You look up. Loop is waving at you from the top of the tree. I'm here! I'm here! Come and join me, Stardust! Ow. Oh, come on. Just climb the tree! I know you can do it. You sigh and climb the tree. What's this music? Ah. Isn't it pretty, Stardust? We're so high up! You are. You can see the house from here. Everyone will be inside the house soon. You try not to think about it. Thank you for coming to today's loop hangout. Are we just waiting to see what happens? They'll probably like die without Seafren in there. That rock is gonna crush them, no? I um I haven't actually prepared anything to talk about. So tell me about yourself, Stardust. Really? I'd rather not. Huh? Why not? You don't don't you already know me? Hmm? It just feels like you know too much about me. You knew my name. You know how I think. You knew me before we even met, didn't you? Kind of. Kind of. Do I know you? Oh! No, you don't know me. Don't worry. Your memory isn't failing you. This time. When we met under the favor tree, that was... That was the first time we've ever seen each other. Is that so? So then... Is that why you're helping me? Because you know me? Oh. Not really. When I decided to help you, you were not a factor in the slightest. You are... you are now, I suppose. But does that mean you actually believe me? When I say I'm here to help. You don't think I'm lying and I'm actually the one trapping you here or whatever. You really believe that I'm here to help you? Yeah, yeah, because you're trapped here with me. Oh, you always surprise me, Stardust. I know I wouldn't believe myself if I was in your place. Maybe time has made me more jaded than you are, but it's fine. Whether you believe me or not, I'm here to help you. So you can escape this loop. So you believe it's possible? For me to escape? Of course. Why would I be here otherwise? I'm trapped here with you, after all. See, I told you! I told you! I want to escape just as much as you do. I know how it feels, you know. To be stuck somewhere. With no hope of escape. Forced to relive the exact same events over and over. Taking any deviation as a sign that things are finally going to change. That everything will be okay. And finding yourself trapped still. <laughs> Look at me, talking and talking. Don't pay attention to me. I'm doing fine. Loop laughs sadly and looks at the house in the distance. Tell me about yourself, Loop. I'd rather not. Loop winks and blows you a kiss. Despite yourself, you laugh. You hear Loop laugh softly as well. <laughs> 
Say, Stardust, that reminds me. Did you really ask for the Change God's blessing more than ten times? You know it's not your belief, right? Hey, you and Lube animatedly talk about the different things you've done during your loops. It's nice to be able to talk about them with someone. You talk and talk until the sun has risen high above you in the sky. Ah, it'll happen now. It'll happen soon now. What will? The theory crafting part of our hangout session, of course. You open your mouth to ask and then... Were they fighting? The king? You heard a horrible sound. Your head. You saw... something. I'm glad you decided to spend some time with me, Stardust. Sorry it's going to end like... with this. What? I thought maybe it wouldn't happen, but... See that light in the distance? It's from the king's floor. I see it every time you get far enough to fight him. His first attack. The king's first attack. How long have you been talking to Loop? Who was the king attacking? Who was he? The king doesn't attack or do anything until you get to him. He would only attack if... If someone... I can feel it every time. Whatever he does, it makes you see something, doesn't it? Something awful. Something so terrible that it's enough to bring anyone close enough to their knees. Stars, I wonder who he attacked. Can't even hear Loop speak. Your friends. They were against the king just now. I found out, but... But... You hear someone cry out. You look at Loop. Loop is just looking at you. Not saying anything. That's kind of creeping me out. There's no pity in their gaze. No sadness. Just some slight impatience, like... Did you figure it out yet? Did you figure out what made the king attack just now? There's only one answer, Stardust. Let's figure it out already so we can move on. Who was the king fighting? Who did the king just kill? Did you figure it out yet? Did you? You start screaming. It's because you weren't there! They died because you weren't there! They're gone because you weren't there! You clutch your head, your hair, your stomach. Because you weren't there. Because of you, they're gone. They're gone. <gasps> Wait, what was that? You stumble and fall to your knees. Your breath harshly, you breathe harshly in and out. It's not working. You can't take a full breath. You can't... You hit the ground with your fists. Why?! Loop does not answer. Why did you know... Did you know this would happen? Which part? You looping back or your party dying? I had a suspicion about the former. I was certain about the latter. You! Loop is looking straight at you. They don't even seem to care that you drew out your dagger. Somehow this calms you down. If I tell you to breathe, will you? You... You breathe slowly in and out. What was that for? For funsies, of course. You take a step forward. And because I was curious to know how the loops work. Aren't you? How the loops work? How could what ha just happened teach you anything about the loops? Think, Stardust. 
Why did you loop back just now? Huh? Because the king won, isn't it? Why would the king winning make you loop? You don't immediately loop back the second you and your party lose, don't you? Don't you? I kind of do, though. No, Stardust. You loop when you die. I... No, it takes a little bit... You loop when you die, Stardust. The fact that the king wins is irrelevant. But you didn't die just now, did you? So why did you loop? But... It's the same with the head housemaiden. You don't die when you talk to her, so what makes you loop? You loop when the head housemaiden talks to you and you looped just now. Why? Don't you think this would be important to figure out? Loops right. There have been other times you loop back without dying too. But what could be the reason? I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to spend time with you. We never got the opportunity to really talk after all. But, yes, I figured this would happen. I, I won't say sorry, so you can stop waiting for it. You don't answer. Well, it looks like that's all you can find out about the loops for now. But you can still help your party. And you still have questions to ask the king, don't you? I'll be ready to help you out next loop. But for now, I think we both need some time. Come back next loop, Stardust. You just walk away. You don't want to talk to loop right now. Damn! So, where in this loop are we? Are we at... Everybody's alive. Does it tell me what loop I'm on in here? I guess not. Let me save and it probably will. This would technically be 26, right? Save all the way up the top. Number one. Save. No! Why is it saying loop 25 when we looped back? It should be lo loop 26. Thank you, Change God, for your blessing. Questions, questions, lots of questions! No time for a nap, hero. You got things to do. Next time, in the next episode loop thing, I guess. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. And we'll be back again with some more in Stars and Time. <laughs>